What is good everybody? I am back with a brand new video and today we are going to be learning how to throw the Heiser flip. Now before we get into this video, we need to know what a hyzer flip actually is. It's when you throw a disc on hyzer and you have enough rotation and spin on the disc to flip it up to flat, rock a little to the right, and then finish back left. Why you would throw the hyzer flip is for some maximum distance. Getting a full flight out of the disc, like an S line, will give you the most distance. As well as, you could be in some wooded holes and there's this tiny gap. In my mind, if I'm throwing a hyzer through that gap, it makes that gap a little bit wider. So if you can throw a hyzer flip, it'll flip up to flat and then it'll just ride straight through the wooded courses. The most important thing to know when throwing a hyzer flip is what type of disc you need to throw. You need something pretty understable so that it actually flips up to flat, but not so understable that it flips up to flat and burns to the right. Now you can't throw something too stable because if you put it on a hyzer line, it's never going to fully flip up the flat and it's just going to hold a hyzer line. You can throw hyzer flips with putters, mid-ranges, or drivers. It really just depends on the stability of that disc. Today, I'm going to be talking about drivers. So I like to throw a ESP Hades, a Innova, this is a super lightweight strike, a Halo Turn, and also sometimes a Halo Valkyrie I like to flip up to flat. One of the key things I'm thinking of while throwing a hyzer flip is first off the angle of my disc. Depending on what understable disc you're trying to hyzer flip, you're gonna have to mess with that angle. Does it need to be a steeper hyzer, a little bit of a lighter hyzer? Depending on what you want that disc to do mid-flight, it could rock more right and then come back, or it might just flip up the flat, which it would be good for a straight shot and then kind of fade off really slightly. And for me, I'm thinking about getting a little bit more pop at the end of my throw to really try to get that rotation on the disc because if you don't have the rotation on the disc, it's never gonna fully flip up. I would say this is actually really important to say in this video, right now I have a tailwind, which uh, is gonna make a disc more stable, meaning it's gonna be harder to flip that disc to flat. Uh, you're going to want to pick up something even more understable than what you would normally throw on a perfect condition day. Opposite of a headwind, where a headwind is going to make your disc less stable, so you want to pick up something more stable than you would usually throw on a perfect day. Right now, I have this Jawbreaker Scorch. It's very understable, but with this tailwind, it should fly pretty good. Editing this video, I quickly realized it is so hard to see that disc actually on a hyzer and flipping up. I have the ace tracker so you can see how the disc flew, but it doesn't really show you a clear representation of a hyzer flip just because I didn't have anybody to zoom in on the disc. So I'm going to search my computer, try and find more clips of hyzer flips from either myself, my brother, a friend, somebody, just so you see a better representation of a hyzer flip. And uh, I do want to apologize for that. That was a perfect example of a hyzer flip. I threw it pretty smooth, threw it on a hyzer. It flipped up, rode right a little bit, an easy fade to the left. I'd say though, if you throw it just like that, first one will be perfect. That was crushed. Now let me try to throw a hyzer flip that flips up to straight instead of trying to get me that extra distance riding to the right because if you're in the woods you might want something that just flips up to straight so i'm going to try to throw my halo valkyrie and see how that does me hopefully with that shot you can tell only hyzer flips to flat and just goes dead straight i really didn't get any sort of movement to the right it went fully straight for me so Something like that could be more useful in the woods, although you're probably gonna be wanting to throw something a little bit slower, like a mid-range that flips up the flat and holds flat, depending on how long the hole is. Unfortunately, I don't really hyzer flip a mid-range, so I don't really have any mid-ranges that I could show you that actually fully hyzer flip, so I'm sorry for that. I'm mainly just throwing drivers on hyzer flips. Anyway, guys, that is all I have for you for this video. Remember, you need to get an understable disc, really work on that angle, and also think about your wind conditions, because that's really gonna depict what disc you pick up off the tee. As well as remembering to try to get a little extra pop at the end of that throw to actually put that disc up to flat. Hopefully this video helped you guys out understand what a hyzer flip is and kind of how to throw the hyzer flip. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Go follow Chase and Chains underscore where I post our daily and uh, we'll see you on the next one.